Hunter Hunter fans, rejoice, 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 because it seems all the memes must die. All memes must die, fam. That sounds like a great album title. Yo, whoever wants it, it's yours. All memes must die. But big, big news for Hunter Hunter because Yoshihiro Togashi, the infamous author that is legendary for the breaks, the hiatuses, you know, people refer to Hunter Hunter as hiatus x hiatus, uh, hiatus no more. Because over on Twitter, he has been giving updates on what's been going on with the manga every day he posts a new page from his manuscript it's usually the corner of the page with a couple of scribbles if i'm just being honest i think it was maybe a few days ago he posted a picture of he drew kurapika and he did draw like a or posted an old drawing of hiei from yu yu Hakusho, which i fanboyed the hell out over that one but ultimately fans really want to know yo what's going on what, what's happening here and we got a massive update it says here hunter hunter mangaka tagashi sensei has completed drawing the manuscript of the first set of new 10 chapters and further informs about working on the next set of 10. Pretty much Yoshihiro Tagashi confirmed chapter 391 has been completed and chapter 392 is progressing the same way. He confirmed yesterday he finished drafting all from 391 to 400 and is now posting images drafting from 401 to 410. So pretty much he is on his way to 20 chapters. He already got 10 chapters pretty much down packed and he's working on the next 10. So that, that's great. That's automatically telling us we might have at the very least about 20 chapters of Hunter Hunter. So for fans that have lost hope in Tagashi, for fans that have said Tagashi don't care, it's over. <laughs> Me, I I'm fans, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, he still cares and he and he's working hard and it's kind of interesting. I really would ideally hope because I know everybody believes every single word that comes out of the mangakas and Shueisha's mouths. I don't. Um, I really hope that that's a lie. I really hope that what is happening here is he already completed all of this and he's just posting a page at a time. And the reason why I hope that he's lying and all of this is just propaganda is so that Tagashi isn't overworking and over anxious because you got to imagine if the world is waiting on him he's been notorious for being on hiatus and breaks and whatnot if he is doing this live and every day doing a chapter and having to post up because it's already become like a ritual every night he posts up a new chapter or a new page from the chapter that, that that's too stressful for a man his age i'm gonna just keep it real i hope that this is all a lie he's already written 20 or 30 chapters and he's posting a page a day as they continue marketing until the reveal and and the return of Hunter Hunter. That's just me. I, I'd prefer it that way. That way the man himself. Like you know we always say that we care about these authors. Like most people say they do but they don't like no I, I prefer it that way I was glad Yuki Tabata just had three months off I was glad Eichiro Oda just got a month break like I prefer that because regardless of what I don't care if you love the work that is great if you appreciate it changed your life saved your life that is great the person comes before all else so I would rather that Tagashi's already done and he's relaxing somewhere and this is just to market and promote the return of Hunter Hunter that'd be better for me again could be that is t telling the truth and by all means hey if that is what it is it is what it is but i'd rather it that way and i got a sneaky suspicion that maybe it is that way i don't think yoshihiro tagashi would come out of a long ass hiatus to jump on twitter and post pages every day and put himself under all that pressure on top of that that his wife even though he said in the past that he don't really like to get his wife involved in the stuff but his wife is one of the most legendary mangaka of all time the uh, creator of sailor moon like yeah i i think he would have her helping him behind the scenes whatnot i just don't feel like it would be even wise for again a man his age to put himself through that type of stress to put himself through deadlines and stuff like that of every day i gotta get something done no tagashi i hope you have it all done and you're playing us like a fiddle and i'd be fine with it because again one more time i care about the person behind the work i love hunter hunter i love berserk i would have preferred that kentaro miura would have walked away from berserk before passing away you know while creating something he loves so that's my stance on that. Shout out to Tagashi. It seems as though at the very least we can confirm 20 chapters are coming, which is about, I'd argue, about three volumes worth of material, which I think is more than some of his other returns. I remember the return in 2016, he had about like two volumes worth of work. So it seems like we might have about three, unless it's like two big volumes of 10 chapters each. That's possible as well. But hopefully we could go for 30 and 40 and 50. Hopefully he has just a whole bunch of work. Hopefully Tagashi has been doing this all along during the pandemic. He's just been working and chilling at his crib and he has it all ready for us and again Shueisha's like how about we just market it like that that'd be my take on it that'd be my hopes for it because 
yeah, I don't want nothing to happen to Takashi. We're losing too many people. Like, long live one of the greatest mangaka ever, Yoshihiro Togashi Sensei. Ganbate kurasai. My Hero Academia fans, we got a couple of pieces of news for the series. For starters, we got a new visual to commemorate and promote the upcoming new season six that is uh, debuting, I believe, October 1st. And I'm not going to lie, this visual looks pretty sick. Granted, you could definitely see what they're trying to do here. It's really sad and honestly a little bit weird to me that at the end of the day, for everything that has come out of Japan from tentacles and all sorts of stuff, they are really hell-bent on making the villains a small part of this whole thing and pushing the heroes. Because looking at this image, now that I understand a little bit more about, you know, layout design and uh, how colors really affect things, looking at this, they clearly put the villains, and yes, that's the type of color I guess you would put, you know, a darker tone on the top or whatnot, but it almost feels like it's, don't focus on the villains, look at the heroes. Oh, and those nasty villains are in the corner, but we don't really care about that because in case you don't know, that was one of the things that ruined season five of My Hero Academia. The fact that the villains was such a big deal in the manga and the anime rearranged things and pretty much downplayed the living crap out of what should have been the best arc of My Hero Academia. And while this poster is awesome, by no means am I discrediting the quality of this poster. I'm discrediting the marketing of this poster. I understand some people might not get what I'm trying to say here. But colors are very impactful in all sorts, whether it be a thumbnail, a promotional poster or whatnot. So when you look at this, they make sure to make everything heroic stand out. Endeavor, all of the heroes, green, red, blue, but they put in a little purple shade on the side. The villains, don't pay attention to them. And honestly, it's just kind of bizarre that like, it's a battle manga. They're literally villains. You know that they're, for the most part, irredeemable. Like Shigaraki wants to just make people crumble to dust. Like, I don't understand what's the big deal of hey, just give them the shine that they deserve. It kind of just feels a little weird to me, but again, solid poster all around. It's just, I can see now marketing tricks and how they try to divert attention from certain aspects, and it's strange because it's My Hero Academia, heroes and villains. Like, you can't have a hero story without villains. If not, it'll be Teen Titans Go, and does anybody want My Hero Academia Go? Like, no, right? But also, on another note, definitely a little worrisome, and I'm gonna be a little bit more on guard when it comes to things happening to our favorite creators and I'm going to call it out when I see it because you make enough noise, maybe you can make some change. And y'all already know that Weekly Shonen Jump is a very, very harsh working condition. Like we just, in this episode alone, you go to the Tabata, the Black Clover segment, we talked about him saying how harsh these conditions are of Weekly Serialization. And it was noted that this week's My Hero Academia chapter, number 361, was only 11 pages. And I believe the previous one was 13 pages. Hope Horikoshi Sensei is doing better. Uh, I didn't know that Horikoshi was sick but maybe he was under the weather um or no he took a break but was it for physical conditions I'm not sure but either way uh that's worrisome like if he's going from 13 to 11 that means that either he can't catch up because he's so far behind or he's not doing good and with everything going on there's so many authors in this episode alone we're going to be talking about that are either not doing good you know how we started this episode um it's just a little worrisome so definitely sending much prayers best wishes all of that positive energy towards Kohei Horikoshi we love your series and we want you to do better Better. I wish, why doesn't Jump give him a month off? Give him three months off. We're in the final stretch of My Hero, right? I get it, probably he wants to get through it, but if Horikoshi is to the point of either not being able to catch up to the work or feeling under the weather, give him time off too. He deserves it. He's been carrying Jump for years upon years until the latest generation of like, you know, Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer. My Hero Academia was full-blown the new gen you know flagship title like it was one piece and then you know my hero there and then black clover on the side uh give him three months off he clearly needs it if he's only able to muster up 11 pages and the previous one was 13 something's wrong give him time off too kohei horikoshi is a goat we're in the final stretch anyway i don't know why they didn't give him time off unless it was tabata that specifically requested that time off or because of the negative backlash either way horikoshi deserves it and you know those three months i'm sure he'll work here and there either way because you can't stop some of these mangaka. I got an interview that I'm going to be posting on my main channel. Well, it'll probably be out by the time you guys see this of the author of One Piece and Detective Conan, them talking about like, you know, all of this type of situation. So yeah, again, hearts go out to My Hero Academia's creator, Kohei Horikoshi. Seems as though he might be not doing well or he might be falling behind schedule. 
Give him a break, Jump. Give him a break. Everybody else gets a break. Give one of the other goats a break, too. Dragon Quest fans. The Dragon Quest anime, to be precise. The Adventures of Dai. Uh, it seems as though the anime is going way longer than I anticipated. I'll be honest with you. Personally, I forgot that this thing was still going. I thought that it already had wrapped up. And not by any means that I dislike it because I was watching it. And every now and then I jump back in and I watch a couple episodes. It's really good. But apparently, uh, Dragon Quest's anime, The Adventures of Dai, will go over a hundred episodes. So even though it feels like, you know, the era of ongoing anime is over, at the very least, its adaptation of a classic is going for the long haul. Dragon Quest Adventure of Dai anime to have 100 episodes. The official website for the new anime of Riku Sanjo and Koji Inada's Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai, Dragon Quest Dai no Dai Boken, manga announced on Friday that the anime will have 100 episodes. Series director Kazuya Karasawa made the announcement. The anime premiered in October 2020. Yeah, man, it's been forever. Crunchyroll and Hulu are streaming the anime as it airs. The show went on hiatus after Toei Animation hack in early March and aired its first new episode in six weeks on April 16th. So, yeah, I forgot they even had to take that break. It's madness. Singer-songwriter Mite no Hanashi, who did Peach Boy, Riverside's ending theme, is performing the show's new ending theme song, Tobutori wa The Flying Bird Is, which marked the show's entry into its seventh core quarter of a year in late April. Jesus, seven cores. The show aired its 87th episode on Saturday. Kazuya Karasawa, who did Dragon Ball's, oh, he was the director of Dragon Ball Super, uh, as well as Dragon Ball Super Broly. He did storyboards. He's going to be serving as director at Toei Animation, and that's really dope. Honestly, it sounds like they're doing a faithful adaptation for this one. Deserves nothing less. It's a classic. Dragon Quest was something that, especially back in the day, was big. I think the Avon spinoff manga is doing very well as well, and this is good, too, for some that is becoming a dying breed of long runners like y'all already know black clover got canceled at 170 and that was it or you know stop not canceled i'm sorry people hate that word you know they, they put the black clover anime on hiatus after episode 170 a lot of long runners are down it's like one piece detective conan and boruto so the fact that this is a reminder well dragon quest has been ongoing and it'll go to the 100 episode mark that's really good not to mention again seemingly they've been doing a faithful adaptation of it which is a blessing because you, you already know especially when they return with stuff there's times where they could make a huge miss and dragon Dragon Quest doesn't deserve that because from what I've seen, I, I don't even know, I'm like, wait, 20, 30 episodes in? It's really good. And it will have over 100 episodes.